Hey, this is Mark for GameSpot UK, and we're here with David Rutter, who is the line producer for FIFA 12, and we're going to ask him some of your questions, uh, the, some of the features that you want to see in uh, FIFA 12. So, uh, David, prepare for this one. Okay. All right, so the first one is from uh, Adam Shepard. He says, uh, be a referee mode. Probably more exciting than being a goalkeeper? Uh, it's a great idea. Uh, it's something that we have uh, talked about quite a lot. Not been a priority for us. Uh, had uh, bigger things that we wanted to get to at the moment, but it's certainly something that we have thought about. So something that came up a lot uh, was online play, and I'm sure you've been asked this now, but um, everyone wants to know. So this one's from Jamie Talbot. No disconnects of online play. If you start a game, you have to finish no matter how much you are losing. Lee Child says the ability to kick troublemakers out of uh, be a pro online if you're not going to play as a team, don't log in at all. Yeah. So with uh, online team play, troublemakers can be kicked um, already by the, the team captain. Uh, your problems start if the team captain is a troublemaker, I guess. Um, the uh, other side of things, which is no matter how badly you're losing, you are forced to continue to play. Uh, I have very little control, unfortunately, over uh, people's behaviours in their house. Uh, that said, uh, you know we've, we've put some stuff in over the years to try and uh, penalise people that rage quit, as we call it. Um, and uh, we'll have more news about some uh, additional things we're trying to do this year later. Um, Maurice Enright says, I want more depth in career mode, like storylines or situations that happen, uh, a bit like what happens in Fight Night. Okay, so we haven't got Fight Night style storylines as far as the emergent game is concerned. What we do have though is a lot more depth in, in, in our uh, career mode this year, particularly around being a manager. Uh, you need to uh, manage your squad, uh, and I say squad because that's what you need to do, uh, more authentically now. So you'll have players that are upset. Um, because they're not getting enough games, they're not being paid enough, uh, they, they, they kind of uh, will perform less well once their morale dips. Uh, similarly, you know, you'll have uh, AI managers coming in making you offers for your, your players and they might go up and down depending on uh, the situation. Uh, you can stall on those things too. A lot of work gone into uh, youth scouting this year as well, so you can send scouts off to find young players from around the world. Uh, similarly, uh, a lot of work gone into transfer deadline day this year uh, so uh, you know you've got a great deal of activity going on over a, a, a kind of much longer period a lot uh, an increased fidelity during that period of time in the run-up to the transfer day uh, ending uh, as well as you know lots of stories breaking in the media about what's going on within the, the game as well so I think you'll be very happy with what we've done. Cool. This one came up a lot as well um, from Stephen Quick, though, first. is uh, Not an ad, but get rid of that stupid new penalty system from Eleven. Is that something you've heard before? Uh, a few people don't like the penalty system. We've had uh, a few people say, uh, can we not have that? Um, that said, I really like the penalty system, and, and overwhelmingly the feedback's been very positive about it. Um, so we won't be removing the old, well, well the current penalty system from, from FIFA. Um, this one comes from Jamie McKee, which ties into career mode a little bit, but it's about um, player development for young players, yep. e.g. look how Gareth Bale came on in a, like, in a year. Yep, so um, we've overhauled player growth this year based on a lot of fan feedback, so players now uh, grow and develop faster. Uh, older players as well will get less good, uh, and uh, obviously we, we've actually included a dedicated screen now where you can look at player growth, uh, and it's all about player potential. So if a player has a high potential, they will rapidly increase towards that, that, that player potential now in a much more authentic way. Great stuff. Now, um, we're going to move on to some slightly crazier ones. So Ahmed Zaman Khan says, uh, play as the team mascot feature. Okay, uh, that's an interesting one. That's actually the first time I've heard of that one, and it kind of made me sm smile inside, I guess, <laughs> uh, but not something that we'll be doing this year. Make it a bit like Mario Striker with shells and bananas. I mean, who doesn't want to see Wayne Rooney getting knocked out by a red shell to the head? Uh, so uh, we're not doing power-ups on the pitch uh, in FIFA, um, probably for the best for everyone. I think including the crowd chance in the lower divisions when a goalkeeper is about to take a goal kick when they shout, you fat bastard, and you, uh, word that I can't say on camera, um, or maybe a... Mo I, well, I can say that, but I can't say the S word. Uh, so uh, we're actually uh, supporting custom chants in FIFA 11, so if you really wanted to, you could put it in there, but it might not necessarily happen when you want it to. <laughs> guns. I mean, I can imagine a lot of use for guns in FIFA. I mean, <laughs> uh, There will be no guns in <laughs> FIFA. Landmines in the pitch. There will be no landmines or exploding things uh, in FIFA this year. 
Um, zombies. Now, zombies are quite in at the moment. Zombie mode? Uh, there are no zombies in FIFA this year. Ninjas are also big. I mean, if you could have a ninja, ninja football zombies. player. Ninja zombies that can blow up shells. Uh, <laughs> there are no ninjas in FIFA <laughs> either. So now you know we heard those questions from the community there. I mean, how much how much do you take from the community when you're working on those new features? I mean, I know some of those were a bit crazy, mm -hmm. but do you take that stuff on board? I, I'm guessing that most of the crazy stuff didn't come from the FIFA community. Um, I, I haven't had too many tweets, and I'll probably regret saying this about zombies and ninjas. All of this stuff that we're doing, we, we would be idiots not to listen to what our fans are saying. Um, we're making a game that's you know, based around refinements that we're making just to the overall game, responding to our fan feedback and innovating, and I've been saying that non-stop for the last three or four years, and, and, you know, I can't imagine a time when it will change. Great stuff. So thanks very much for your time, and when can we see FIFA? Uh, 30th of September here in the UK, a couple of days earlier in North America for the North American viewers, uh, and uh, that's based, before anyone gets too carried away, uh, based on the fact that in North America shops sell things on a Tuesday, they launch their games on a Tuesday, and in the UK and most of Europe they launch them on a Friday, it's nothing to do with me. Uh, I did not favour North America, uh, uh, there are rumours. <laughs> and then what platforms? Uh, well, all the usual suspects, uh, PlayStation 3, 360, PC, uh, PlayStation 2, uh, 3DS, uh, PSP, <laughs> I can't remember, there's probably more. So all of them? Yeah, most of them, <laughs> I think. Alright, great stuff, so if you want to read more about FIFA, head over to GameSpot.com.